Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my must-have makeup essentials, things that I cannot live without, aka the makeup I traveled to uh, my vacation with. I've been on vacation for a couple of weeks now and I do have five more nights to go before I head back home. Today is my last day in Napoli. This is the best hotel we've stayed at so far. It's called Grand Hotel Parkers. And if you're ever in Napoli, I highly recommend it. It is a family owned business and our stay here has been spectacular. Anyways, we are heading to Rome later today. I have my last five nights in Rome. I wanted to leave a lot of time to explore Rome and I am super excited about it. I have been surviving on the makeup that is in these bags right here for the past two weeks. I still have a week to go. And I wanna share with you the essentials that I traveled with, things that I could have done without, and things that I missed, things that I should have brought as well. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a thumbs up, excuse the audio, excuse the camera angle because um, I should show you guys what you're standing on right now. <laughs> um, we're making do with what we can. This bathroom does have amazing lighting. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started. So I brought two bags with me and I can put one inside of the other. So technically the space that I'm occupying in my luggage is the space of this bag right here. This is a bag from OS Beauty and I can squeeze this BK Beauty brush bag and put it inside that other one that I just showed you. This bag from BK Beauty I absolutely love because you can have it up like this to close it or you can have it be your brush stand. It is a must have if you're traveling in my opinion. And of course, I will link everything I talk about down below in the description box. Anyways, I'll show you the brush essentials that I brought and everything else that I put in here. There's not just brushes in here. And I'll show you all of the makeup that I brought as well. Starting with my eyebrows, I did already fill my eyebrows for today's video, but I of course brought my three brow essentials right here, which is a brow gel, a brow pencil, and a brow pen. The brow gel I brought with me is this one from Rare Beauty, which is my number one at the moment. It is a must have for me. It pulls my hairs up and it makes them stay in place in an instant. And I love it because it is so easy to use. For a brow pencil, I brought precisely my brow from Benefit. I have this one in number five. And this one just helps me trace and fill my eyebrows with ease. It works amazingly on top of the gel. It is pigmented. It is thin. It looks natural. I love it. And because I have quite coarse brow hairs, sometimes I can see the difference between where I penciled in my eyebrow and where the actual hairs are. And so I love to use a pen to fill in those gaps and my favorite has been this NYX one for years now. I've had this NYX brow pen, I think since it first came out, it's probably been a couple of years at this point and I have never had to replace it. Granted, I don't use it that much because I just trace a few hairs at a time each time I use it, but I've had it for two years now and I have never had to replace it. It is amazing. And my favorite brow pen ever, high-end or drugstore, this one right here is my number one. Also with me, I brought my Magic Cream. This is the Travel Size Magic Cream. And I should have brought more because I fully finished it last night. I currently don't have any moisturizer to put on, which is a huge shame. I have to stop at a pharmacy here in Italy to buy some moisturizer for my face because I did fully finish my magic cream. Granted, if you're traveling for two weeks, this will be enough, but because I took it to Cuba at the beginning of January, and then I've been here for a couple of weeks, I did already fully finish it. So um, if you are traveling for a long time, let me fix the camera for a second. So if you're traveling for a long time, as I was saying, <laughs> um, consider having a bit more of your moisturizer with you then I brought with me to Italy. You guys know Magic Cream is my favorite moisturizer ever. And so of course, this is the one that I decided to bring with me. Also, they just changed Magic Cream's packaging. This travel size has the same amount as the previous packaging, 
but I don't like that you have to really get in those edges in order to bring out some moisturizer. Even though this is glass and the previous one was plastic, I actually prefer the previous packaging of Magic Cream. Anyways, let me take advantage of whatever I just brought out of there. I also brought a lip balm type product with me. This one from Laneige was the one I chose. This is what I have on my lips right now. And it's helped a little bit with dryness. I like this one quite a bit. As far as primer is concerned, I decided to bring one that would fill in my pores and actually also give me coverage. So on days where I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, I could just put this on my cheeks and it gives me enough coverage that I don't feel the need to put foundation over top. And so for that reason, I love this primer. It fills in my pores and it covers my redness in a very natural way. So this one I knew I would get a lot of use out of because I can use it for a couple of different things. I can use it on its own or I can use it as my primer, which is what I'm going to do today. I don't use any tools for this Dennis and Myra Extreme Skin Balm. I just apply it with my fingers and build it up if I feel like I need to build it up. So for days where I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, I find that this is perfect because I just cover my redness and I am good to go. For foundation, I only brought one and that was Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. You guys know I absolutely swear by this one. And it's a foundation that never lets me down. It never looks dry. It always looks natural. It is thin. It is lightweight and just perfect for everyday occasions. And so I just use three pumps of this one every day. And I've been blending it out with this Refer brush. This is a foundation brush from Refer that has not come out yet, but I have been testing it all throughout this trip. And I can tell you that I love it. It's a synthetic brush from Refer, which is different because they always do natural hair brushes but i can promise you this foundation brush has been spectacular even though i have not had the chance to like fully wash it or like clean it in between i just wipe it off every once in a while because i don't have the time to wait for it to dry right i figured i would deep clean it once i get back home it's one of those foundation brushes that has the perfect shape perfect amount of density and doesn't leave any streaks behind which I absolutely love even though as I said I've been using it for two weeks now and I haven't had the chance to clean it so I'm honestly very impressed and I don't know when this foundation is coming out hopefully soon I know that whenever it does come out you guys are going to love it for my under eyes I brought two different things because I cannot deal with dark circles so I brought a color corrector I ended up bringing this one from elf the peach color corrector this one is super affordable and it definitely gets the job done so I'm just putting it right on my inner corners a little bit under my eyes and with this other refer brush this one is a concealer brush that I'm assuming will launch along with the foundation brush, I blend it out. And this one has been perfect for detail work like this one. Just patting my color corrector in place like that. I absolutely love it. It's like you're doing it almost with your fingertips. For concealer, I brought the Tower 28 concealer, which I have been loving. And I'm just doing inner corners under the eyes and the outer corner of the under eye with it. A little bit in the center of the forehead nose and chin now besides the foundation brush and the concealer brush just in case i did also bring a beauty sponge and so i've been using this one mainly for the concealer just to stamp it in place where i placed it having that foundation and concealer brush i don't feel like i needed to bring the sponge but the sponge doesn't occupy that much space anyways and i feel safe that I have it with me. So after blending in that concealer, of course, we need to set things with a bit of powder. And this is the powder of choice that I brought because this one also never fails me. And I brought the Danessa Myricks little sponge to apply it with as well. This is the Danessa Myricks pink powder. Again, everything will be linked down below. And this one is super, super thin, which I love because it never makes me look dry. It hides my pores, it hides 
fine lines it makes my makeup never ever crease it's just an amazing product to finish up my cheeks i brought only one bronzer and only one blush i made sure that these were products that would go with any makeup look so both of these are products that i can use day or night i can intensify i can reapply throughout the day if i feel like i need to and both of these are also kind of universally flattering like i know that any makeup look i do these will go with and so i also just brought two brushes to apply these with for my bronzer i brought the refer number 37 brush and the bronzer that i brought is this one here which is the m cosmetics corselet sculpting powder bronzer in the shade slip and i love this bronzer and this brush is perfect to apply it so i'm just going to start warming up right underneath my cheek bringing it down i also chose this bronzer because it bronzes up my face but it also sculpts my face at the same time because it has this beautiful, nice, cool tone shade to it. So by bringing something like this, I don't need to bring a sculpting product and then a bronzing product. I can just have both in one. And the number 37 brush from Refer is perfect to apply this bronzer with because it deposits a good amount of it on, but it also buffs and blends it very, very seamlessly. I forgot to add that I did not bring any eye cream with me because since I can't use any actives right now because I'm pregnant, usually the eye creams I go for have retinol in them. I can't use retinol because I'm pregnant. So I've just been using my magic cream even underneath my eyes just for hydration. Maybe also that contributed to the fact that I finished it so fast. But also I thought that would save some space in the makeup bag, you know? We came for three weeks and we only came with a carry-on and a backpack. So I didn't have a ton of space to put my makeup in. And that's a choice that we made because since we're moving from city to city, we have to carry our bags with us whenever we go from one place to the next. And bags are heavy, so we wanted to minimize the amount of things we brought with us, you know? Moving on to blush, the blush brush I brought with me was the Refer number no. 5, which is my favorite blush brush. And I brought this blush from Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk because this one is, as I was saying earlier, universally flattering. If I have warm makeup on, this will go with it. Cool tone makeup, this will go with it. It's also pretty neutral and just very, very flattering. And so whenever I don't know what blush to reach for, this is always a safe one to grab. And so for that reason, it is a blush color that I know I can always count on you know for eyeshadow because i love eyeshadow i couldn't just bring one little palette i actually ended up bringing three um and i actually have only used two mainly one so i'll tell you which palettes i brought with me and the reason i've been mainly been reaching for this one so the one i've been reaching for the most is the natasha denona mini starlet palette and the reason i've been reaching for this one the most is because it is a pretty light palette not a lot of smokiness going on not a ton of buildup. and i have been mainly wearing daytime makeup while on vacation we really haven't been anywhere at night other than just going to grab some dinner and so I feel like this level of depth is perfect for daily wear. So this one I've been using a whole lot. I'm actually going to use it today again. The other palette I brought with me and one that I have not reached for at all, maybe I should, <laughs> is this one here, the Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Palette. The reason I haven't reached for this one is because I know I'm always going to want to go here with it <laughs> if i open this one i'm going to want to smoke things up and because i have been doing everyday type makeup looks i don't need to smoke it up right um and so because i don't trust that i can contain myself i've been reaching for the lighter palette the most but i could totally go for this one and just not use that dark shade right in fact should we use this one today Ooh, i don't know let's see <laughs> third and last little palette i brought is this one from Lisa Eldridge and I have used this one like three times maybe and have thoroughly enjoyed it. I love the formula of this Lisa Eldridge palette. I love how beautiful and cool tone it is and how easily it blends and the looks that I've been able to create with it as well. Since I haven't used the My Dream palette from Natasha, I'm actually going to use it 
today um so i'm going to start with the shade balance here and this is a refer number 16 that i brought this is a perfect crease brush just to back and forth blend everything and smoke things out really nicely and i'm going to grab a tiny bit of the shade nurture here with the same brush because i want to keep things nice and smoky and diffuse and so i'm just going to add a little bit of depth to the other third of my crease i'm going to grab a refer number one in the shade nurture once again and this time i'm going to smoke things out underneath my eye with it keeping it nice and light nice and simple and with a refer number two i'm going to grab the shade passionate right here in the middle and this is going to be the shade right in the center of my eyelid and I'm taking it all the way to the inner corner, just like that. Nice and light, nice and simple for every day. Now, I did totally bring an excess of eyeshadow brushes. And have I used them all? Yes, I have used them all. Just because every time I open my bag and I pick whatever I see first. But I only needed these five right here. So, a blending brush, which is the refer number 16 or the refer number 15. Um, I needed a flat brush, which is in this case 02 Max, but you can just bring your regular refer number two. A smaller blending brush, the refer number one is usually my go to for that. And then, just in case you want to do a bit more detailed work, the refer number three and the refer number 13 will absolutely do. So, these are the five brushes that you need with you when you go on vacation. However, I did bring a few extra ones just because <laughs> I did bring a couple extra blending brushes. I brought another number two, another number one, and another flat brush, the Sigma E57. So in the description box, I will list the brushes that you need, not everything that I brought. For eyeliner, I only brought one and it's this double-ended one right here from Charlotte Tilbury. I have a light creamy eyeliner on one side and a brown one on the other side to be completely honest with you the only eyeliner i have used is the brown eyeliner and it is the one that i'm going to use today again so maybe you don't need to bring a double-ended one maybe just a brown one will do i only brought one mascara with me and that is the anastasia lash sculpt mascara which i love because i can really build up to look very nice and I didn't bring any falsies or anything like that, so I knew I needed a mascara that I could rely on. So this was the mascara of choice. Let me just go ahead and apply it off camera real quick. Oh, and I also did bring and have used every day my lash curler from Refer. My favorite one is the 18R one. It's the one that fits my eyes best and I love it. All done with the mascara and this brings us to one of the main things that I completely forgot to bring and I totally should have brought with me and that is q-tips. I'm very messy when it comes to applying mascara and I usually always have to go back through the eyeshadow with a q-tip to take my mascara messiness off of my face. I even got my nose this time. <laughs> And so the only reason I currently have a Q-tip is because at this hotel, so I've been without a Q-tip for two weeks, but at this hotel, they had these little packets right here and each one has three Q-tips. So I'm going to save them throughout the entire rest of the trip. But if you also forget your Q-tips, just grab a brush and go through where you messed up with the tip of the brush, just back and forth. A stiff brush I think works best so I've been cleaning up my mascara mess with the E57 from Sigma for the past two weeks all I have left to show you is some lip products I brought as well as some little tiny fragrances that I brought with me and that brings me to something else I completely forgot to bring and that was a sharpener I never forget the sharpener usually but this time I did Anyways, today I'm going to line my lips with my Rosewood Lip Liner from Anastasia. And in the center, I'm going to use my YSL Lip Glaze, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. And I'm just going to fill in a little bit. Besides the two lip products that I just applied, which I absolutely love, I also brought a lighter lip liner. My Natasha one from Natasha Denona. This is the one that I've been using the most. I can't use it anymore because I forgot my sharpener. 
and I got it all the way down. From Ravi Beauty, I brought the Ravi Beauty Dahlia lipstick because this just goes with everything and I love it. And then lastly, I brought a lip gloss. This one is from Pat McGrath and the shade is Sunset Rose. I absolutely love this one. It's one of my favorites. And then last but certainly not least, I brought some fragrances with me. These right here. I brought Vanilla Diorama from Dior, which I love. This one has a strong vanilla-y sugar scent to it, and I love combining it as a base with something that is more fresh and airy. My fresh and airy fragrance that I brought was this one from Jo Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, and I've been combining these two, or I've been combining these two right here. The one in the black bottle is Mir and Tonka from Jo Malone and I absolutely love it. This is a great combination. These two also a great combination. And then the fourth and last fragrance I brought with me is from Erin and it is Amber Musk, which is one of my all time favorite scents. Today I'm going to use a little bit of my Dior one. This one doesn't have a sprayer, so I just go like that. <laughs> and some wood sage and sea salt on top so nice i forgot one more thing the third and last thing that i forgot to bring and i have been in dire need of whilst i've been here is tweezers i forgot my tweezers at home and i have been a hairy mess a few days ago i got my husband's shaving stuff and i made do with this for like underneath my eyebrows. <laughs> so definitely do not forget your tweezers. Totally forgot to mention one of the most important things I brought and that is a face cleanser. This one is just a little one I had around the house and I have been double cleansing my face every day with this one because I didn't bring a makeup melter. So I've just been using this one as my makeup remover and also my cleanser. This one is from Bare Minerals and it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's getting the job done. As far as shampoo, conditioner, body lotions, anything like that, I've just been making do with whatever the hotels that I've been staying at have to offer. So that is everything I brought with me. Most things that are kind of flat and chunky, I put in this bag right here. And everything that can stand and it's thin, I throw in this one, closing this up. And I just wanna show you how everything fits in one bag. So take a look right here. This is everything I just talked about, everything I brought with me on this trip. My must-have makeup when it comes to traveling and my must-have makeup when it comes to everyday makeup looks like the one that I did today. So I truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all. I will be back in around six days or so. And I would say that I can't wait to get back, but I'm honestly having a lot of fun on vacation. So I'll just see you guys in a week. <laughs>